guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. Sherry here. So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for March 3rd until March the 11th. I just want to say I love you ladies. I um, hope you're all doing well. Um, I won't be doing any personal readings uh, for a while, probably about a month, three weeks to a month. There's some things I need to take care of and as far as the book and the cards. So I will be continuing to do the weekly readings though. All right. So I'm going to use a John Holland Psychic Tarot. And I'm actually going to be doing a reading that I haven't showed um, before, except for maybe in, in private reading. So it's a week and a flash. So I pull seven cards. Uh, five of the cards represent the, um, the week uh, to come. Then there's going to be a past position, a future position, and an overall energy. So I'm going to pull the cards now. So this is John Holland's like, Tarot, Nine of Cups. Um, truth I don't read reversals in these cards so this is the justice the four of cups interesting temptation the devil card and love begins the ace of cups wow so we have it beginning with love and feeling like wishes are fulfilled um, and then kind of recycling back to that love and connectedness and um, we see this coming together energy very strongly in the masculine reading, so I definitely would say watch that. So the bottom of the deck, overall energy, wow, authority. Um, that came in the present position for the twin flame reading, but the reason why I'm saying wow is because um, the masculine got the yin card for message from the universe. So your focus for the next week will be on the masculine, but it could also be you being the emperor com coming into power. So I'm going to pull two cards for the um, future and past. So this is, whoop, call it Baron Reed, um, Enchanted Map. So I'll wait to read those to you. Okay. <clears throat> So, let's begin. Am I missing anything? No. Okay. So, <clears throat> the first card in the, in, the, um, in the row is Nine of Cups, and it says Fulfillment of Wishes. So, Nine is feeling um, satisfied, complete. You know, you're almost at the Ten of Cups. Um, so, you're entering the week with this very positive energy, feeling like, you know, you you give unconditional love, you're receiving that unconditional love. Um, you know, there's this also self-love energy as, as well, but it's celebration, it is um, just feeling a sense of peace and connectedness and um, surrounded by love and enjoying life. Actually, let's move these up closer. Okay, so the next card is Truth. So this is Justice, or, yeah, it is. Or is it Judgment? Yeah, it's Judgment. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so it's number 20. Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry. I just finished doing the masculine reading. I thought, well, you know, I'll continue on to the feminine right away. So maybe I should have taken a little break. Sorry about that. Okay, so Judgment card. Um, so you are seeking the truth and you are weighing the matter, right? You need to make a judgment call. Um, so we see a scale here, and this balancing energy was also repeated in the Twin Flame reading. So you are weighing some choices, you're reevaluating the past, you're realizing your decision has far-reaching consequences. So, you know, in this matter that you need to judge, is the Four of Cups, Disconnect and Boredom. This card showed up in the near future for the masculine. 
And so you can see how this energy is turned away from the sun, right? There's this rainbow of colors touching this person's foot, but they don't see it because they're focused on the dark. And, you know, what's right beside that card? What is the darkness? It is temptation, the devil. So I see this um, very grounded energy that's coming from a place of love who is making decisions looking through that looking glass, you know, and needing to make a decision about this energy. Where am I going to invest my time and energy, right? And it's, it's like you're seeing how you need to release yourself from that devil. You realize that it's kind of drawing you into the darkness. Okay, so disconnecting boredom. This is somebody either turning their back on love um, or feeling like things aren't moving. Um, so it's longing energy. And it's right at the center. So it is an issue. Um, so the devil card is temptation, it's addictions, it's codependent relationships, right? And so here we see there's a key here and it unlocks the door to the heart. So this could mean that you're being emotionally manipulated by somebody and you're freeing yourself. You're trying to unchain yourself from that energy, and, but you're trying to decide the best way to do it. You know, you want everybody to be happy. So the final card in the row is the Ace of Cups, Love Begins. So if you're able to release this energy, um, the sense at the end of the week, there's this coming together, this um, coming together for love and love begins and, you know, the love is overflowing and there's rainbows, you know, very uplifting, positive energy. You, your dream, you want your dreams to come true and they, they become true. There's the you know, this new beginning that happens, but you're clearing the way for that new beginning to come in. Are you able to see that? Let me just move this over a little. Okay, so the overall energy is the Emperor, the Divine Masculine Authority. And so this card showed up in the present position, and I pulled a card, no more, that accompanied it. And so it was also accompanied by the page of wands so there's a sense is that there's this new beginning this passion ignited um, this desire for a new beginning and so the feminine could be pursuing them which is leading her in the direction of the masculine you know so it's like she is becoming the authority she is embodying um, this action quality and that was also mirroring on the max masculine side as well um, so her goal is the masculine. She wants those dreams to be manifested. She's trying to figure out the best way to do it. Um, she's dealing with this longing um, or chain. She frees herself and opens herself up to love. Okay, so what is in the past is gentle gardener. How beautiful. So this card is all about your thoughts what your, your seeds of intentions, what you send out, you get back. And that was also another very cool theme in the uh, Twin Flame reading. You know, she, the, she was the, um, the Six of Pentacles, she was the Queen of Pentacles, she was the Nine of Pentacles. Being open, she was giving a gift in terms of the union. So, beautiful seeds of intention. And I will find the page eventually. There we go. Gentle Gardener. Be your own person. Be a conscious co-creator. The Gentle Gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality you experience. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation ensures that all you are is reflected in the world of form. Are you aware <clears throat> sorry, of your thoughts? What is their quality? Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world. Stay positive and expect a wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. Yeah, and see how abundant that is? It's a nine of cups right there's this beautiful waterfall you know love raining down on you and so even though you might be faced with a negative situation and you 
need to release yourself, embody that authoritative energy, that it's all going to work out for you in the end because those that intention was already set and here we have it manifested. So the future position is dry desert. So number 31. So <clears throat> it says, dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now's the time to become resilient and adaptable. Uh, that was actually a message from the universe for the twin flame reading for the masculine side. Um, is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like you're on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. Okay, so the overall, um, like the universe card for the feminine side was journeying through diff difficult, harsher, colder circumstances in the near future and you can see that or not near future but for the next week and you can see that energy being reflected right here okay so the card was to be prepared if you're prepared for it then you can handle it and it turns out well in the end obviously right um so you're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort you reach the oasis you're searching for. Consider the creatures that live in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of the outer environment. In a desert, water is essential of life. Can be found deep underground. Go deep within yourself now. Find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you locate the real source, truth. Whatever um, it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface, move past that. Um, past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within you. This may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. This is the most important place to find what's truly right for you. There you go. You're on... Um, a journey to discover some answers and you are successful okay so let me pull one final card message from the universe that one sea beasties Oops, sorry about that did I mess it up Okay, so, here in the murky depths we dwell, trapped in darkness like a jail, obscured by she who holds the key, holds the key, yet chooses not to lift the veil. Our clandestine existence can, our shadows no longer condone. Buried deep we wait, we sleep, unknowable or just unknown. A strange maiden in a tentacled headdress fixes her sightless gaze straight ahead. Unaware of the bizarre creatures surrounding her at the bottom of the deepest sea. So the meaning is be aware of deeply buried thoughts and desires. There's that temptation, you know, these deep thoughts. Um, lately you've felt some unfamiliar stirrings from thoughts and, and desires buried deep below the surface. These elements of self may be the things you have forgotten, and they may be things you have intentionally ignored or unconsciously rep repressed. However, they are still there, and it is time to acknowledge their existence. These ideas and emotions, perhaps even fears, may be difficult to retrieve or recall, but don't worry. Nothing is impossible, and the more you concentrate on becoming self-aware, the better you will become at understanding the hidden pieces of your personality. So, you are facing your fears also. So, you either will be will be triggered or you make some realizations and um, you find those answers you're seeking okay so i do hope this helped guys i love you so much cheers